The 24-hour game show marathon is brought to you by MMCO Auto with Porsche, Audi and Volkswagen dealerships and one of the largest selections of pre-owned vehicles in the Philadelphia area. Visit them at mmcoauto.com. MMCO Auto, dealerships that are a family. Turkey Hill, imported from Lancaster County, makers of fine drinks, ice cream, frozen treats, and more. Find locations and coupons at turkeyhill.com. Wawa. Wawa is your all-day, everyday stop for fresh, built-to-order foods, beverages, coffee, fuel services, and surcharge-free ATMs. Gotta have a Wawa. Find your closest Wawa at wawa.com. Wanna rub? Wanna rub is the perfect condiment for all your food. Use it as a dry rub or a seasoning. Wanna rub is veteran owned, made in America, and a portion of proceeds go to quality charitable organizations. You know you wanna rub. Uh, on the Game Show Marathon. Uh, before we delve into the next hour, uh, I would like to uh, go over a little promotion that we're going to be doing. Uh, from here on out, uh, every dollar that you donate could win you an actual prize. We're going to do a raffle, and what we need from you is, when you donate on donate.gameshowmarathon.com, make sure to write in the comments section your name, uh, your email address, and is that, that that's, okay, that's all we need. Name and email address. Um, and every dollar you donate is going to be uh, an entry into a raffle, and uh, you could win a fabulous prize. Um, is it for this hour? Or is it? Yeah. It's for this hour. For the next four hours. Oh, for the next four hours. But just for this hour. It's for this hour. Basically, you can win stuff actually right now. That's what we're trying to tell you. Just by watching and donating, you actually could win stuff. So this is pretty exciting here, um, which also uh, I think is a good transition into the first of our viewer choice game shows that you guys voted on. The first one is Sale of the Century. Woo! Okay. I'm gonna hydrate. Yeah, hydrate. Yeah, hot and close. Oh, look at you. Oh, oh. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, um, so uh, this hour is sponsored by the wonderful people over at Ampro. Uh, they make uh, any idea that you can think of. <laughs> Maybe I should have been John. <laughs> oh, Jonathan doesn't fit in. The, all right. John well, while Corey's fixing that, uh, let me tell you about Ampro. Ampro is a fa fabulous company. Um, if you have any idea to put on a T-shirt, a sweatshirt, uh, any uh, any item that they can either embroider or screen print on. Uh, they can work with you and figure it out how, how it works. There Austin Powers just walked in. I got a long <laughs> name. Austin Powers, Austin Powers from Ampro here. Ready to? Oh wait, Austin Powers. No, that, he has an accent. That would be right. That would be right. I don't know why. I thought he was just a Do regular guy. Do I make guy. you Ampro, baby? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. There you go. Something else. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't jump the train of thought. There you go. So. um... Basically, the bottom line is, uh, if you need any sort of custom clothing, anything like that, Ampro is the way to go. And they uh, did a very generous donation for us. So this hour, thank you, Ampro. They are the reason for this hour. Oh, all right. And there you go. That could be our first entry into the hey. raffle. All right. $2,889. Remember, if we hit $3,500, MMCO Auto will donate another $2,500. So... Yeah, that's that's a big one. We zoom right to six grand, so make sure uh, you get in, you get your donations in uh, for everything. All right, so sale of the century. Uh, th th this is definitely one of those shows that even if, even as like a game show fan, I think like you may have missed out on. But luckily, a lot of episodes were available on YouTube, so I caught up to speed. <laughs> so. He's all studied up. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes. 
Um, so before we get into the show, uh, let's meet our contestants. Uh, yes, we do a little personal bit. So how are you doing, Beth? I'm good. How are you? Yes. Uh, how are you? How, is this, your, this is the first one you've played so far today. Yes, but not my first Game Show America. Right, of course. I was at the second one. Oh, that's a, that's a teacher on the second one. There you go. In the sixth one? Something. Yeah. <laughs> Another one. Something one? in between this one and that one. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, it's good to have you here. Uh, next we have Jonathan. Ooh. Oh, no. We got donation. There we go. All right. Get donation. that donation up. Nice uh, next we have Jonathan or J.O. Nathan. I liked that introduction that you had. I try. Spells it right. Uh, how are you doing? Getting older. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fantastic. I'll tell you what, though. That is a good T-shirt you have. Yep. I, <laughs> that's appropriate because I'm hosting Pressure Luck at midnight. So tune in, won't you? Ooh, the foreshadowing. Yes. And then we got Cribs. How are you doing? Hey, what's going Hi. on? <laughs> yes. Having a lot of fun. This is really, really great. Yeah, I think so too. I think it's yeah. going. I, guess, I think it's going pretty swimmingly. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Um, okay. You're doing great, by the way, too. You oh. don't. You joined did a couple of these last year, but you're doing really, really good. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm a little bit nervous now. You gave me like a full workload, so I'm like, oh, okay. Oh yeah. Let me get the. Let me get the tie right. Oh, I don't have a tie. Put you on well, the it's so easy, is it? Yeah. <laughs> think you can hack it? Oh my God. Let's get to it. Uh, <laughs> So uh, first off, uh, you each get 20 uh, points on the board here. Um, I'll go over some, uh, some you know, general knowledge questions. Um, if you ring in and get it right, you get an initial five points. If you ring in and get it right. Oh, OK. So all right, we're, we're officially done. Dollars. YouTube. All right. Um, That's how to make the whole of the game work, Rich. It has to be dollars. Yes, sorry. Not your own. <laughs> Let's go to David Buster's. Not with that attitude, it's you, not. You can, you can cash in on a, on a stuffed animal. Sorry, $20. If you get it right, you get another $5 out of your bank. If you get it wrong, you lose $5. Um, there will also be a portion of the show where I will tempt you with interesting prizes in the sale of the century. Ooh. Yes. Uh, but first things first, let's get first. into this. Oh, I'm sorry. I got so excited. I'm sorry. I got so excited with cards. Here. I did. But you know what? It's, yeah, we got new microphones. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry, people of the internet. Okay. Got the notice. I'll, I'll stand over here, and then that way I won't be tempted. Okay. Uh, so let's go into the first round. Uh, quick questions here. All right. The first one, which uh, – yeah, so get ready. I just realized I should have warned you. Yeah. Okay. Which book, published in 1947, tells the story of a Jewish teenage girl in hiding? Uh, it's a John Bug Bugman. Diary of Anne Frank. That is correct. Uh, so there you go. You're up uh, 25 there. Uh, in which NBC sitcom do Kristen Bell and Ted Danson navigate? Uh, John again. The Good Place. That's correct. Good show. Uh, according to Sidney Lauper's hit song in 1983, What Do Girls? Uh, that is Christian. Girls just want to have fun. That is correct. Um, in the animal kingdom, what H is a breed of pigeon famed for its extraordinary... Uh, John again? That'd be homing. That is correct. In the TV comedy MASH, what was the name of Alan Aldo's character, Captain Benjamin Franklin Pierce? Christian. Hawkeye. That is correct. All right. Uh, so this one is sprint round. <laughs> so... I guess I go very fast. <laughs> Normal, pace. Normal pace? Okay, good. Uh, all right, so next question. Do you want me to start the timer? Oh, yeah, that's right. There's, <laughs> there's I, I must have watched the one that didn't have the sprint round. <laughs> I, I, went, I went right ahead on this one. Sorry. All right, so uh, I have, let's see, six questions. Yeah, 30, seconds. 30 seconds. All right, so let's see, see how well this goes. <laughs> Just read normal. You're doing all right. Okay, thank you. All right, let's have the time start now. In money, what is the official national unit of currency in Germany? Uh, Christian. That is the um, uh, euro. That is correct. In classical music, how many members are there in a string quartet? Four. Uh, yep, that is correct. Uh, in fashion, what tartan skirt is associated with Scotland? John. Kilt. That is correct. Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan starred in which 19... Uh, Christian. Uh, Fish called Wanda. No. Billy Cr Oh, go skip your drum. Oh. Okay. Sorry. According to the proverb, what is the spice of life? Variety. Yes, that's correct. How did he 
Okay. I'm going back and forth. I'm forward. special. <laughs> it's throwing me off. Okay. Uh, ooh. Uh, there were, I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's here? Honey, are you home? Okay. Is, there, is there another one? Oh, this is a gift shop. Okay, good. Okay, so first up, uh, oh wait, first let me see who's in the lead. Uh, oh, we have a tie. Uh, so Jonathan and Christian both nice. have 40. Oh, sorry, I did it again. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to put that right there. Okay, um, let's see, how do we do a tie? <laughs> Oh, interesting. Ooh. The first mm. one that buzzes in gets the item. Are you ready to see the item that you could? The yeah, sorry, Beth. Sorry, Beth. They're so fast. You'll come back. Clicking. You'll come back. All right, are you We're ready to see the 20. first item? Yeah, I'm ready to see the place. first item. Too. Okay. For now. Let me just so go underneath. Someone buys something. My knees are hurting. All right. Ooh. The first item is this limited edition game show marathon oh my shirt. God. What size is it? What size is it? Uh, Who printed it? It's double XL. Was it possibly printed by the sponsor? And you could get it if you're willing to pay six bucks. Yes. <laughs> by right. a mile, yeah. I didn't have a <laughs> chance. Congratulations. Thank this you. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so... Uh, Christian paid six dollars for that wonderful shirt, um, but that does leave John in the lead. So there you go, Jonathan, you're in the lead. All right, I uh, have a couple of uh, general knowledge questions in round two that you guys would like to hear. I think. Um, oh, yes. Bring them on. Bring them on. Yeah, exactly. Fire away. All right, let's fire away here. Uh, first question: In history, which Scottish king and Shakespearean character came to the throne after killing his cousin, Duncan the First? Uh, Beth. King Lear? No. <laughs> no. No one gets it. It was Macbeth. Oh, Macbeth. Him. I knew it was wrong. But <laughs> it was a better guess than what I would have said. So. <laughs> uh, up next, which American TV sitcom starring John Lithgow is about a group of aliens? Uh, Christian. Uh, Third Rock from the Sun. That is correct. Good show. Yeah. In, yeah. <laughs> Uh, in history, the Russian term czar and the German term kaiser are both derived from which title for a Roman ruler? Uh, Christian? Caesar? Yes. That's oh. Correct. Very good. Uh, in literature, the American author L. Frank Baum wrote... Uh, Christian? The Wizard of Oz. That is correct. Uh, in science, what name is given to an atom that has lost or gained one or more electrons and so has an electric charge? Uh, Beth. Proton. No. No. My no. mother did just disappoint me. She's a no. science no. teacher. Uh, the answer is ion. Oh. It's an ion. Or an ill failed TV network. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Zing. Are they a sponsor? Okay, more. <laughs> <laughs> they just, the, the numbers really go down. <laughs> okay, now comes the awkward part in uh, the sale of the century where we have the fame game. Woo! 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 <laughs> uh, I am going to give you a couple of clues, and you guys have to guess what I'm trying to represent. Ooh. And if you do, you get to go to the fame game board and add your total. So it is Ooh. an interesting prize if you get this. Uh, all right, here are the clues. Um, also, if you buzz in and you get it wrong, you're locked out for the fame game. Here we go. Uh, the compilation album Deep Six was an early example of me. It featured bands such as The Melvins and Green River. Mark Arm of Mudhoney is credited with coining my name that became associated with sub pop. I'm a musical genre that is referred to as the Seattle Sound. Uh, John. Would that be grunge? That's correct. Nice. There you go. Okay. I still think Corey wrote the question would be emo. Okay. Well, I was going to say ska at first, but then when he said Seattle, it was, I went with grunge. Oh, I want Meredith Vieira. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Who's that in the oh. middle? Abe Vigoda? Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is an interesting list of people here. So we've got the queen of letters and numbers, Carol Vorderman. 
Uh, we probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Bill Cal Cullen, of course, legendary game show host there. Uh, the host of Power 10, Drew Carey, of course, Drew Carey Show. Uh, we, <laughs> we like him most, uh, we like him more as a host than a giant, that's absolutely true. Michael Strahan. Uh, we have Hesitation, Repetition, and Deviation. Oh, uh, that's the characteristics of Nicholas Parsons. Uh, the upcoming host of Pressure Luck, I can't wait. Uh, Elizabeth Banks. The America's Collective Cranky Grandpa's Alex Trebek. I love these descriptions. <laughs> uh, say something, she's got something to say in 25 words or less. It's Meredith Vieira. And finally, the password is Alan Ludden. So there you go. Who would you like on that big board? I would like to take the former host of the Today Show, who also hosted Millionaire in syndication, I'll take the bottom square, Meredith Vieira. All right, there you go, bam. All right, what's uh, behind Meredith's uh, card? Matt Lauer's career. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh, uh-oh. Your stakes okay. go nice up to $10 like for $10. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the turbo is. So there you go. All right. So let's get into round three, and let's see if that will help or hurt you. Uh, again, a couple of regular general, general knowledge questions here. In grammar, what N is the term used to describe a word that names a person, plate? Uh, that is Christian. It's a noun. That is correct. You only get <laughs> yeah, Fine. originally. I'll fun. take it. <laughs> in art, which 15th and 16th century Florentine artist painted Madonna? Uh, Christian? Michelangelo? No. Oh. Uh, in, in art, which 15th and 16th century Florentine artist painted Madonna of the Magnificent and Mystic Nativity? We, we don't, so nobody else gets it, right? No. Oh. 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 No st oh. I, I, never, never any really? Yeah. I thought there was one that there was. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. The one, the YouTube video I watched, they had one. I don't know. Did you German version? Did I? Untemtaschen. Whoops. Wilkemann. Silly me, I fell into the German version. Would you like to buy these later, Hosen, for five temptation dollars? Okay. <laughs> yes, that'd be very good. Uh, okay, next question. Uh, the hijab or veil has traditionally been worn for many. Uh, Christian? Islam? That is correct. Uh, in the periodic table, which colorless, odorless gas is represented by the letters XE? Christian? Xenon. Yes, that is correct. This damn turbo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going slow as molasses. <laughs> turbo the snail. Oh. oh. Whoa. <laughs> Would it be great if you got Turbo the American Gladiator to come out and present that prize? <laughs> oh. <laughs> His name was You Steve. ruined the bonus I round. I remember that. <laughs> uh, which dog-like mammal is best known for its cry, which has been compared to... Uh, John? Hyena? Yes, that is correct. All right. right. Was that the fifth question? Oh, okay. There you go. Uh, and that something. ding means it's time for another trip to the gift shop. Um, and Christian is in the lead, so Christian gets the opportunity to buy this gift if he wants. Okay. Um, do I have this one, or is this? No, you got that. Okay. You have it somewhere. Can I? Uh, can I just announce it? Sure. Okay. The prize for you, if you would wish to pay mm -hmm. the small sum of ten dollars, mm -hmm. dropping you down to forty-nine and in the second place. Mm -hmm. But it could be interesting. It is a twenty-five dollar gift card mm -hmm. to uh, AE. What's that? What was that? AE. Oh, American, American Eagle. There we go. <laughs> or Airy. You Air, can use it at Airy, yes. too. No, it's, okay. it's American Eagle. $25 gift card. <laughs> Let's say Airy. Yeah? Can, uh, can you do anything about the price? <laughs> no, he no. can't. No? He can increase it. <laughs> Too slow. This is the dilemma I wanted to create with sale of the century. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Marital disputes? What was that? Marital disputes? Marital. <laughs> For nine? All right, how about nine? 
We'll, jo we'll drop it down one more dollar, and then you're, you're in a tie for first. Yes. All right, yes. there we go. That's a pretty good deal. You, you, you spent nine bucks on a $25 gift card. So I think that's worth it. It's like it. Groupon minus on Tiffany home. Haddish. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> underwear is very important. It's really a win for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play. Yes. <laughs> You need to go right now. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> okay. I'm great. All right, good. Just making sure. Okay, uh, let's uh, get back in ge into general questions and try and raise these scores up here. Uh, let's do this one. In the Disney animated film, which poison fruit did the wicked... Apple. Uh, darn, that is apple. Yep, that was correct. Which American city was almost completely destroyed by fire in 1871? Uh, John? Chicago. That is correct. Uh, an archipelago is a large collection of, or grouping of what? Uh, Beth? Islands. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. You got it. Uh, in biology, Thanks, what eye is used to describe a species that occurs naturally in a certain area? Uh, John? Indigenous. That is correct. In which decade? Where's that turbo when I need it? <laughs> yeah, I need it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in which decade? I shoved your face in it. <laughs> what? What? Okay. In which decade did the Beach Boys first release their uh, Christian? 1960s. Yes, that's correct. Um, okay. Uh, time to go back to the fame game board. It's what? Oh, yes. Oh, that's right. I got to answer the question. All right. I knew that. This I did know. Okay. So, uh, again, I will be reading clues, and you have to try and guess what I'm trying to describe as myself. And of course, Corey wrote like a weird name there. All right. I'm giving you the pronunciation of the first year name. <laughs> what, where? Oh, there was. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so Yepi Rubif uh, invented a variety of me, which is combined with boxing, while Adolf Anderson won the immortal game of me, which features moves uh, Christian. Chess. That is correct. Oh. Features the Latvian Gambit and Sicilian Defense. Interesting. Oh, if I got in there, I would have known. The Sicilian, I remember from high school. Uh, so we're back theory. up on the Fame Game board. What would uh, what would you like to choose yeah. for your Fame Game guest? My boy up top, Bill Cullen, in the middle. Of course. How can you say no to that face? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what's behind it. Ten dollars. Oh. Nice. All right, so we're at, oh, is it tied? That's a 65. Yeah, mm. ooh, ooh, we got a close game here. This is interesting. Definitely. Well, Beth, you, we, got, we got some more questions. You're in second place still. I fast you guys would click the buzzer. <laughs> we, got, we got plenty more questions. Knowledge. It's in there. Yeah, it's in there. We're gonna, we're, gonna, the we're gonna extract it. We're gonna get there. <laughs> it's gonna get there. Uh, so back to general knowledge questions. In biology, what D is the me is the methodical cutting apart of a plant? Uh, Christian. Uh, dissection. That is correct. Produced by birds and reptiles, what E is an embryo? Christian. Egg. That is correct. In the Bible, Jesus says that it is easier for which animal to pass? Christian. Camel. That is correct. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 all right. Woo. That wasn't even the, the speed round. I wasn't even trying to do that one. Uh, for which political party was Bob Dole representing? Christian again. Republican? That is correct. In the animal kingdom, to which order of animals do porcupines belong? Christian again. Uh, mammals. What was that? Mammal? No. Oh. Ha! <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, and you got, uh, yeah, that's right, you can't steal. Uh, the answer is rodents. Oh, jeez. Rodents. All right, now it's time for a sprint round. All right, so we're going to put 30 seconds up on the clock. Let's see how many of these I can read through without messing up. All right, and let's have the clock start now. All right, in cuisine, rough puff, flaky, and short crust are all types of what? Uh, John. Pastry. That's correct. In medicine, what name is given to an order written by a doctor to a... Christian. Prescription. That's correct. Sydney hosted which famous international sporting event in the year 2000? Christian. Olympics. That's correct. 
Uh, what D is the rhythmic movement of the body usually? John. Dancing. That is correct. In music, Joe Strummer was a member of which punk rock band? Uh, Beth? Uh, the Clash. I think you had that. I was born you had that. I think, was it one of those things you saw like his face and you're like, oh, oh I couldn't I remember? first jumped to Misfits and I knew it was wrong. And uh, I was like, Misfits, Misfits, Misfits. <laughs> that, that's understandable. I had the Beth. Um, okay. Oh, that right. was 50% of the answer. Yeah, yeah right. You're almost there. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, I think we got another uh, sp uh, sprint round. Did you? No, that's it. That's it. Oh, that was from, okay. Oh, you know, you could have done it, but no. Okay, uh, let's do, yeah, okay. One more round of general knowledge questions. Uh, the Oscar Wilde character who remained young while his hidden. Uh, Dorian Gray. What was that? Dorian Gray. That's correct. In geography, Minsk is the capital of which. Christian. Denmark. No. No. Uh, Belarus. 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 I was thinking of John Belarus. I was thinking of John Belarus. There are no clouds tonight. You can see Belarus up in the sky. <laughs> I was thinking, thinking John Belarus. Uh, okay. Uh, where was I? Oh, here we go. Uh, what type of military vehicle originally developed by the Americans? Uh, Christian. Tank? No, uh, Jeep. Oh. Oh. Um, the original question was uh, originally developed by Americans in World War II was also known as a Peep, Jeep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if a 20-gallon tank was three-quarters full, how many gallons would it? Christian. Fifteen. That is correct. In human biology, which S is the fluid secreted into the mouth that aids... Christian. Saliva. That is correct. All right. And, ooh, ooh. It's time for another trip to the gift shop. Yeah. And, ooh, is it time for this one? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, Christian, you are in the lead right now. Uh -huh. You have a $20 lead. Right. But I would like to tempt you with something very interesting. Okay. And all it costs is... Fifteen dollars. Okay. Yes, fifteen dollars. Be be amazed by this amazing breakfast maker. Ooh. Okay. Undies and eggs. So for fifteen hundred dollars, you could get this breakfast sandwich maker. Think of all the time you could save. I mean, it's ready in five minutes. Yeah. Sandwich maker, isn't that hands? Hands. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. A donation. Awesome. Someone else. You can invite Joe Belaris over for breakfast. Ooh. Yeah, Joe, Joe Belaris. God. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'm still weighing the pros and cons of this Hamilton Beach breakfast sandwich maker. I will dance with I know. <laughs> if you want me it's to. the rhythmic movement of the body. Yeah. Huh? That one was so simple a question, it almost threw me. Yeah. I was like, D. Was there like, are oh. no pros. <laughs> like, we don't really need D? that. We don't really do. We don't do breakfast? We do <laughs> breakfast, but we don't, I don't know. But look at my dancing. It's great. It's beautiful. Does it come with dancing perks? I'll dance. Dancing rituals? I don't know. I have to, let me consult the boss. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I think that? that's an answer. No deal, sorry. <laughs> no deal. Rude. What? After that dancing sorry. with the sandwich there maker. There are so many people that would kill to have this I'm breakfast sandwich. Sorry. Everyone in the chat loves the breakfast maker. So hell, you buy it. Okay, so the chat does not zero. like it. <laughs> no, I tried. Okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, yeah. I think I think well that that'll go back to the gift shop. So Sorry, I thought Corey. that was very nice. <laughs> I, I I would have taken that in a heartbeat. Kimmy for ten dollars to uh, or fifteen. 15. Or sorry, fifteen. It was fifteen. Fist, would ten change it? What? Would ten change it? No. No. <laughs> right. I think fifteen is actually retail. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not even getting a deal. Regular price of the century. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Whoops. <laughs> we just went with the MSRP. Okay, well then uh, the game stands, uh, Christian with $95, Jonathan with $75,
Beth with ten dollars. You're still in it, Beth. Yes. Oh, they're so fast clickers. Yes. We got we got some more questions. We need a game where they're required to listen to the whole question. Uh, yes. We have some of them. We don't. They're not. They're not. They're not all of them. But there are some of them. All right. Uh, let's do some more questions. In food, what P is a Middle Eastern flatbread with uh, Christian? Pita. That is correct. Before becoming a talk show host, Jerry Springer served John. He was the mayor of Cincinnati. That is correct. Oh, nice. Yes, a lot of. I'm yeah. sure you knew all Interesting, about right? You watch Springer, so you know everything. Yeah, about Springer it. fans. We got a couple of Springer fans. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Do you know Steve Miller, the executive producer? Damn. Fun fact. Ah. Rochelle Consiglio. Okay. If that comes up as the next question, <laughs> I'm going to hate myself. Is that the next question? No, it's not, not, not the next question. Uh, but here's the next question. In the TV series Breaking Bad, of what restaurant chain is Gus Fring the owner? Christian. Is it Los Pollos Hermanos? That is correct. Mm -hmm. uh, which author created the private detective Sherlock Holmes? Jonathan. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle? That is correct. Uh, in human biology, what E is an outbreak of infectious disease? Christian. Epidemic. That is correct. Oh, I was going to say Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're in the right path. in the ballpark. Every disease is Ebola. Yeah. <laughs> Swine flu. That's how I remember the name of my favorite ice cream. <laughs> Ebola? <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, what? what? Oh, um, Edie's grand ice cream. Oh, um, okay. All right, it's time for another trip to the Fame Game board. Uh, but before we do that, I just remembered I have to give you the clues because I am acting as this person. So I'll give you the clues. Role play. <laughs> yes. I like role play. Hello. Will yes. you like I, interpret the person while you, while you do Do you want me to? I'll say. All right. I showed the tidal birds in front of a blue black sky and a golden field in his wheat field with crows. One work by me shows the five title figures eating the title vegetables in a dark room. What the hell is Christians. this? Vincent Van Gogh? That is correct. <laughs> I have no idea what was going on. I was distracted by the potato eating, right? I'm sorry. Yeah. I, should, I probably, probably need a better interpretive dancer. I can't really. I was thinking Alfred Hitchcock. Come on, minus 25. All right. Yeah. Which, minus which? 100. All right. You gotta find the breakfast. <laughs> yeah, which one's the bad game maker? It's stuck in Michael Strahan's teeth. Oh! oh. Damn. <laughs> Michael, if you're watching, hey. We love you, Pam. If you're watching, what has gone wrong in your life? <laughs> Why aren't yeah. you here? Yeah. Um, I gotta go with my other boy, Alex Trebek. Of course. Much love to Papa Trebek. And what is behind him? Canada. $10. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, what's what's behind uh, all of them here, or, oh, or not? Never okay. mind. <laughs> or, or not. So there was a fifteen dollar, no. another fifteen dollar. Ooh, a zero. Lockout twenty five and Ooh, burglar. Ooh, what's no. a burglar? Yeah. You, you come and get punched yeah, in the stomach. Guess, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll have to do it next year on on sale of the century uh, viewers' choice. Uh, but now it is time for the final sprint round, uh, and we're gonna go through as many questions as we can in sixty seconds. Hopefully, I won't trip over my own words. <laughs> but we'll see what we do. Um, do the points? Uh, is it is it still still five? Okay, so still five points. So this is at the Mad Rush to see who wins the sale of the century hour here on the game show marathon. Uh, which, by the way, please donate. Uh, we uh, what we're at two thousand nine hundred nine dollars and ninety nine cents. That sounds like the price of a very expensive computer. But no, we're actually going to donate. All of that to, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're actually going to donate all that to Child's Play, so make sure you get those donations in, and uh, yeah. Um, also, I uh, want to, again, thank Ampro for sponsoring this hour of the Game Show Marathon. Um, and I'll throw an extra dollar in for every question I get right in the speed <gasps> round. Ooh. Okay. Take that. You just want us um, to let you answer. I'm trying. Yeah, okay. Every dollar. Hold on. If yeah. it's it's a double check cash, your dollar. I'm ready to go. Him, I think we're okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to. Where's? Every, yeah, no, much? I'll throw a dollar into. I got. Oh. I got fifty. Yeah. Wait. What? Let's go. He's his own game show. Let's yeah. Go. Wait. That, yeah. That's not supposed to be part of this. He's got money. <laughs> <laughs> 
I no longer live in a cashless society. <laughs> what? I believe in miracles. I'll, I'll spend someone else's money on you, Corey. <laughs> I, I, I just totally it. ripped that envelope too. I was yeah, like, totally wow. Wow. it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like you were okay. okay, sorry. Back to the show. Yes. Sorry to distract everyone. So John, John's packing. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this just took a turn. Yes. And it's only well, four o'clock. <laughs> Oh, we yeah, we're get, right, get, we'll get ready to go ahead. <laughs> Is this right when we and take? And well, Corey has a beer, so I mean, hours. hey. That's when it really gets Oh, I mean. Root beer. We love Ampro. <laughs> yes. There you go. It's Jersey Hill Root beer. Ampro, thank you for sponsoring this hour. Sorry. Okay, uh, let's do the final sprint round. Do we have 60 seconds on the clock? Yes, we do. All right, and let's go. Which major film studio's logo is a roaring lion? Chris MGM. Uh, yes, that's correct. Which Disney character often feels a rumbly in the tumbly? Christian. Winnie the Pooh. That's correct. What does a bibliophile collect? Christian. Books. That's correct. Bronze is an alloy of tin and which metal? Copper. Yes, that's correct. In the television, television series The Simpsons, what kind of animal is itchy? John. He's a cat. No. Oh, he's the other one. Uh, what state first ratified the U.S. Constitution? Jonathan. Delaware. That's correct. Who was Space Ghost's band leader on Space Ghost Coast to Coast? Uh, Christian. Rack. No. Zorak. Uh, what is the minimum age requirement for being president of the United States? Jonathan. 35. That's correct. What right did the 19th Amendment guarantee for women? Jonathan. Uh, voting. That's correct. Good job. Of which long-running animated TV show has Conan O'Brien written for? Uh, Jonathan. The Simpsons. That's correct. Which Pixar film was the first full, full, uh, Jonathan. Toy Story. That's correct. What does a cartographer draw? Christian. Maps. That's correct. What would a musician do if her sheet music, music, Jonathan. Your mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, you know what? I got through two sheets of questions. Hey! Yay! Yeah. 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 Two thousand nine hundred thirty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Nice. Um, at the end of our game show, it is Christian with one hundred and thirty-five dollars. Good game. Good game. Good game. This is That's the fun. water rub snacks party basket that they've so graciously provided <laughs> that you could win in the raffle. And that Christian one. And Christian wins. Oh. Yeah! yeah! There you go. Is there a breakfast sandwich maker in there? There better be. <laughs> Is it all the ingredients for your breakfast sandwich? You didn't know? I think we should give. There's wine in it. <gasps> oh, <laughs> No, no, it's in the basket. That's yes. fine. That's, that's for later. Should, should we give the raffle winner the sandwich maker? Yeah, sure, why not? All right, everyone who donates between 4 and 5 p.m. <laughs> Eastern. <laughs> Uh, every dollar you'll get a raffle entry, and the winner will receive. And uh, you know what? I'll put a Game Show Marathon 8 sticker on it, too. Yes. You'll get oh. the official GSM 8 <laughs> sandwich maker. There you go. Perfect. Just like that. Um, and once again, I want to thank Ampro for sponsoring this hour. If you ever need any sort of custom clothing or screen prints on T-shirts, sweatshirts, you got an event coming up, you want to make it look official, uh, all you got to do is call the guys up at Ampro and they will help you out. They're one of the largest providers of custom t-shirts and there's, yeah, there's links on the website so you can figure, uh, if you want to go to the website and play around and maybe create your own t-shirt or something, hey, if you just want to do that too, you can, you know, they'll help you out. Uh, but for right now, this has been sale of the century. I'm, uh, I'm very honored to have hosted this. Why are you uh, taking my points away? I worked uh, hard for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we, we gotta go back to the, <laughs> <laughs> Fade the power down. Uh, coming up next is uh, High Rollers. Woo! Interesting. Oh, that was another. I was trying to tease. Oh. Yeah. I took away that one. Anyway, the point is, we got more game shows coming your way. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, it's it's still we're still going strong. Mystery game there. coming up. <laughs> the, what is it? It's it not High game. Rollers. You weren't paying attention, you don't get to know what it is. Game Show Marathon. The 24 hour Game Show Marathon is brought to you by MMCO Auto with Porsche, Audi, and Volkswagen dealerships and one of the largest selections of pre owned vehicles in the Philadelphia area. Visit them at mmcoauto.com. MMCO Auto, dealerships that are a family. Turkey Hill. 
Imported from Lancaster County. Makers of fine drinks, ice cream, frozen treats and more. Find locations and coupons at turkeyhill.com. Wawa. Wawa is your all-day, everyday stop for fresh, built-to-order foods, beverages, coffee, fuel services, and surcharge-free ATMs. Gotta have a Wawa. Find your closest Wawa at wawa.com. Wanna rub? Wanna rub is the perfect condiment for all your food. Use it as a dry rub or a seasoning. Wanna rub is veteran-owned, made in America and a portion of proceeds go to quality charitable organizations. You know you want to rub.